Sam, your first defeat of the season. Um, sum up uh, the game for us. Um, overriding is disappointment, obviously. Uh, I don't like losing anything, especially not in a, in a football match. Uh, listen, it's, a, it's our place to come. These are these are very effective at home. Um, what they do is, is what they do, and um, I try to nullify that as best I could. You can see it from the first minute of the game. The game ends up with no flow in it. Um, it's very stop start, extremely stop start. Um, you can see that ending up in eight minutes of injury time, but that doesn't really make up for a game which is so stop start, no flow. There's no flow. It, it became a, a game of you nearly playing a game of, of rugby where it's just um, stop, play for a couple of seconds, stop, play for a couple of seconds, and when it's a stop. My point is that um, it was taking so long for the game to restart again. I guess there was sort of different factors in that in terms of perhaps the officiating and perhaps the fact that Solihull were so good at frustrating us. Yeah, well, listen, they, um, they're, a good, they're a good team at home. Um, they've won three and drawn one now at home, so they're a, they're a handful here. They know, um, they know what they're doing. We never really got into the game. We have to, it's, listen, it's hard because you, every time there's a set piece or a throw in, it's coming in at the edge of your box. So we, we competed and we, we did that really well just once. Um, obviously, which led to the goal. Disappointing bit was we didn't cause them enough problems when we did get the ball down a couple of times and were able to play and get some flow into the game. The disappointing bit was we didn't cause them enough problems. Well, perhaps an obvious question, but were Solly Hull the, the toughest test we've faced so far this season? Yeah, listen, it's always going to be the toughest away game. So, like I said, they're, they're very good here. They know exactly how they want to play the game, not just football-wise, but play the game. Um, you know, from the first minute, the, the keeper was walking to get a ball, taking a minute to take a goal kick. There's no flow in the game. Um, and like I said, we we defended really well. Once um, once we didn't, it, it cost us. At the other end, we had a few half chances, but but not enough really. Yeah, chances were few and far between. Do you put that down to maybe the attackers, or is that just the way that Solly Hill played and they edged us out of the game a little bit? Uh, a little bit of everything. I'd, I'd like us to be a bit better, a bit more inventive, um, get hold of the game a little bit better at times as well. Uh, but ultimately, listen, the, the game was a game of very small chances at either end. Um, yeah, I'd like to play a game of football. Um, we looked at um, in terms of the officiating. I know. I just don't often like to comment on referees, but you could tell that you were frustrated on the bench there. Yeah, like I said, they so they all know exactly how they're how they're gonna play the game. Um, and I was just um, trying to make sure they were aware of, of what they were trying to do. You can see it coming a mile off. I just um, was trying to nullify that as best I could. A bit of a squad rotation for you, bank holiday games congested, two games in forty eight hours. Um, that was something you felt you you've had to do? Listen, we've got the ability to, we've got a really good squad of players. Um, anyone can play and you know it doesn't detract from, from the side at all. So, but listen, you've got competition competition for places. So whoever does play needs to make sure they play well to stay in the team. If not, there's someone breathing down their neck who is on the bench or you know, there's some real good players who, who didn't even make the bench today. Uh, a point from six possible over the weekend. Is this now going to be a bit of a test of character for your dressing room? Um, there's some disappointment in the dressing room. 14 points from seven games is two points a game, which wouldn't do any league. Um, so it's still been a, a very, very good start. With a disappointing last two games, that's um, the start give us that opportunity. But uh, we just have to, to keep going. And I said the same, we're only seven games in. It was an awful long way to go. We had 39 more games yet. So um, let's just keep um, keep building, keep trying to improve. I said when we won games, we need to improve. We've lost. We still need to improve. There's nothing. Um, there's nothing new about it. I did say we weren't going to go the season unbeaten. I, we were hoping I was going to be wrong on it, um, but we, I think it was going to come at some point. Uh, and like I said, it's, uh, three set pieces have cost us over the last two games. Um, we haven't been cut open by open play, we haven't been on, on the back foot. We have to defend in this league and we do it wholeheartedly and we do it really well. It's just cost us um, the last couple of games. Your first defeat as Wrexham manager, your first defeat as a manager, um, I'm sure it doesn't hurt any less than it would have as a player. No, it probably hurts more to be honest with you. Um, because it's frustrating, you can't do anything when you're still on the side. You can't um, try and control the game a, a little bit or do, or do anything and push people around. But some, the players, um, the players are hugely disappointed, and rightly so. Uh, we don't ever want to lose a game. We came here to win the game. We haven't. We're disappointed because they're a team that, that give their all and, and they try and get a result. And today it didn't happen. A tough weekend in terms of the injury front. Uh, James Jennings going off on Saturday and uh, Manny Smith. 
um, loss today, and that's a, a big loss for you. Yeah, we're just waiting to see really with Manny. I don't think he's as bad as first fear, so we're just waiting to see how he reacts. Uh, Geno, I think um, hopefully he'll be all right in a couple of days um, in the ideal world. If not, I mean, maybe a week or two, but um, yeah, that's not as too bad as when he went down. I thought he'd done something serious, but um, hopefully not. Uh, August, a horrible time for, for players where it's coming thick and fast now. You've got a full week to prepare, and I guess you'll be looking for a reaction on Saturday. Yeah, um, yeah, not quite a full week, obviously. Um, Monday today, so we only got till Saturday. Oh, so, um, yeah, it gives us a, 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 probably an extra day to prepare, doesn't it? Uh, and then we come back in it again. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So, yeah, we just need to get ready, get organised, and just keep going again. Listen, this is football, isn't it? You can't win every game. You get knocked down. You just have to keep getting back up. Um, and like I say, we've still been a fantastic start to the season. Cheers, Tom.